In this section, we are going to learn how to use the image in the simple GUI. So right now I have my simple code. So let's see what I have. I have my simple GUI library and I have my frame and my frame is set to 500 by 500. And I have my background. <coughs> so my background is a purple and I have my one object, which is line. So let me just run. Let's see what I have. So this is my frame. This is my background. And I have only one object, which is line. And that is a perfectly works now. So let's imagine that instead of that purple uh, background, I was I want to use a different picture. So that means that picture is somewhere online or it is on your computer. So it doesn't matter where it is. So we are going to load them to simple GUI. And after that, we are going to use it on, on my frame. So let me just dive in and let's see what we have. So uh, what I can do is on the line number nine, I can just use my sharp that it is going to disable my line. So from here, it's all the same. I will say from the canvas, I mean like on the canvas, I want to draw not the line this time, I want to draw image. So right now that is a little bit tricky point. Now I need to put the five different arguments and what those arguments are. So we are just going to discuss just in a second. But first of all, I need to give my image. So I will say that is my image or you can call it ABC. And after that, we need to put the five different parameters and we are going to just discuss just in a second. So before uh, giving the image, I need to define what is my image. And uh, let me just put it over here. And I will say that it's uh, from the simple GUI that is my library. And I want to use the function which is load image. So inside I will put the two brackets. Oops. Let me put it over here. So that is my two uh, brackets and I have my codes here. So what does it mean? What we are doing right now that from the simple GUI that my library, I'm using this function. It's a new function that we are going to load. We are going to upload our picture uh, to the simple GUI and I will save that to the image. So that is my variable and I'm going to use my variable over here. So instead of that image, you can say like in picture or you can say ABC, it doesn't matter. So whatever you put it over here, do you need to specify and you need to just define over here as well. So this time in this situation, we are going to use the image which is already published online. Let me just go to Google and we will see what we can find. So for example, uh, let me find the um, animation. So I will say animation. I will go to my images and now I have a different pictures over here. So let me just try to find the, uh, the big one. So that is, let me just go to the size and I will select the large one. Let me just go ahead and I will choose anyone. So uh, let me see. I'm just trying to figure out which one is a kind of square because our uh, our frame is a 500 by 500, but either one is working. So we will discuss what we can do. So for example, that one, let me just click on that and we'll see what we have. So right now I'm on my Google, uh, 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 on my Google Chrome. What I can do is on that picture, if you like the picture, you can just right click and it says the copy the image address. You see, so if I click that one, so that link is being copied. And if you want to make sure that it's working, so what I can do is I will open the new tab and on that new tab, I will go ahead and say past. So that is my image. And if I click it, so right now it works perfectly. What I can do is I will use that link over here. So I will say load that image and I'll just pass it over here. So perfect, that is working. That means this link was saved to the image. And later on, if I call the image, it is going to uh, link to that, to that source. So right now I want to talk about these four perimeters and all of them are coordinates. So we need to put some couple coordinates over here and let's discuss what they are. So right now I have a four different. So these first two that belong to the image itself and the second two, it belongs to the canvas. What I mean with that, so let me just go ahead and I want to describe over here. So let me get my pen. And uh, so let's imagine that is my image and also that is my canvas. 
So uh, as we uh, discussed it before, you see right now I have uh, four different arguments that I need to provide to the simple GUI. So all of them are co coordinates. So that ha uh, has to be the value of x and y, and these supposed to be have the value of x and y and so on. And each of them has to be the same way. So let me just go ahead and explain what they are. So this is my image, and this is my canvas. Okay. Uh, so these are the image that I got from the internet. Okay, that is the image that we load uh, to the canvas as image. It's over here. You see, we just save it over here, and that is my canvas that I'm going to use. So that is my canvas, which is that one. Which is uh, we are going to take that picture and put it on the on our canvas. But our canvas is 500 by 500. What we can do is. I can say that the first one, so let me just go make it, I have one, two, three, and four. So we need to specify these four lines. So these four two belongs to, uh, to, uh, to image and these two belongs to the canvas. So the number one is, the number one is from the image, I need to specify what point I want to pick. So let's imagine uh, I will take right in the middle. So if my image, if my image, like uh, I will say thousands by thousands, so the thousand uh, pixels by thousand pixels. So what I can say that the coordinates of that point is a 500 by 500. So that is a 500 by 500. So he, uh, this is representing the first one. The second one is around this point, how much from the picture I want to take? Do I need to take all these picture and pass it on the canvas or do you want to just make a slice and get a, just a piece of that one so you see so right now I need to specify uh, what exactly which piece from that picture I want to get and put it on my canvas it can be a full picture or it can be just a part of the picture so here I need to specify from the X uh, from the X value how many pixels I want. Let's imagine I want to have my 200 pixels and 200 pixels over here. So I need to specify on on that uh, on that argument. So the number three is so since we are done with the picture now, uh, where exactly I want to put on the canvas. So let, let's imagine on the canvas, I want to put right in the middle. So I need to specify, uh, I need to specify where it is supposed to go. And here, so since my uh, canvas is a 500 by 500, so, and I want to put in the middle. So right now I will say here, it's a 250 by 250. So that is the point that I want to put on my canvas. And the last one is, that is a little bit tricky. So right now we already have our slice of picture. You see, so that is my picture. That is already been sliced to 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So, and uh, this is ready to go and uh, put on the canvas. But here I need to specify, do I need to resize it somehow or just desize it? So since that is a 200 by 200, you see, I can put as original one, 200 by 200, or I can say that I want to put a 400 by 400. So I will just take my picture, which is 200 by 200, and I will resize it and put on my, on my, uh, on my canvas. So let's see how we can do that. But before that, as we discussed it over here, we need to know what is the dimension of my original picture is. So for instance, right now I using, I'm using my uh, thousand by thousand. It was just example, but I want to see what is my resource and how to receive the resource. If I just navigate, if I put my mouse on my picture, you see here in the corner, we can see the dimensions. So each dimension has a different, uh, each picture has a different dimension. So right now it's 1914 by 600, uh, 816. So let me just put a little couple more uh, variables over here. So right now I will say my image width and I will say my image height. And it looks like on the image width, oops, where is it? And image width is 1914. So I will put 1914 and my image high is equal to it's 816. So that is my 816. Perfect. 
So right now, do you remember that the first one is from the picture, which point I want to select? That is a little bit important. So let me just go back one more time and I will try to explain it over here. So this is my picture. I think it's perfectly visible right now. So it looks like an, on the on the X axis, the dimensions, <coughs> the pixels are 1914. And here on the Y axis, I have a 816. So the first one is uh, here uh, in the first argument, what I need to put over here. So right now I need to select which point I want to get. So for example, I want to get right in the middle. So that is my right in the middle and around this middle, I'm going to crop the picture. So I will just get a piece of picture that is going to be placed on my canvas. So in order to find that middle point, so that is my X axis. So uh, let me go that one. I'm a little bit lazy to make a mat. What I can do is from the X axis, 1914 uh, and divided by two. So that is the half of my X axis and I will get a half of my Y axis. So it's 816 and divided by two. So that is my point on the picture. So let me put, just put it over here. So I will say I already defined my image width and height. So what I can say that image, oops, I can say image width divided by two and comma image high divided by two. Perfect. So I'm done with my pointing now. The second one is, so that is my point. So what I want to get from here. So that is my point. What, what I can do is from around this point, let me just get this piece only. And since my, uh, since my frame is a 500 by 500, so that is a 500, that is the dimensions of that one. And that is my 500. So let, let's, I want to use 500 by 500 only. Oops, where is it? So that is 500 by 500. Perfect. So right now I'm done with my picture. So the uh, last two arguments are, uh, I want to use, so, since my picture is ready, where exactly on the frame I want to place it. So right now I will say that I want to place right in the middle of my, uh, uh, right in the middle of my frame. So my frame is uh, 500 by 500. Or what I can do is I will use this variable. I will say, let me just put that and divide it by two. And also I will say the high divided by two. Or you can say just simply 250 by 250. But since I already uh, defined it over here, so I'm using that one. And after that, you see, I have my slides of 500 by 500. So do you want to use original or do you want to resize it? So you let me use the original. So what I can do is I will just make a copy and pass it over here. And let's see if it's working. So I'm going to run it and let's see if it works. Perfect. So I have my slides. I just slice it down that and I just place it on my frame. So let me just play around a little bit about with that one. So let's imagine I want to make a, a 300 by 300. That is absolutely fine. So from the big picture, what I did it, I just sliced the small picture, which is 500 by 500. And I, before putting them on the canvas, I resized it one more time. I didn't cut, I didn't crop it. The only thing I just resized it and put on the canvas. So let's see how it looks like and bam bam. Perfect. So that is my frame and that is my picture. What if I will make it a little bigger? So let's imagine, so you see right now my frame is a 500 by 500. What if I will put a 600 by 600, which is absolutely fine. So if I run it, so it is going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, but if you go crazy, if you go like a, like a big number, so let me put a 1000 by 1000. What does it mean that that is going to make a little bit a blurry and let me just see what how it looks like. Yes, perfect. So I just made it hundred a thousand by thousand, but since that is out of a frame and I cannot see that one, but my picture, the quality of the picture was decreasing. So what I can do is I will bring that one more time to the 500 by 500. So this is how we are using the picture on the in the simple GUI.